I'm pretty sure there'll be a few executive producers and journalists from a certain TV programme who are watching this live. First one, Ryan James. Nope. Second one, mate. Gary Smith was first. Yo. Danny Tomo. Who you kidnapped, eh? Oh, look at the smile on my face. Look at the smile on my face, man. So... So, in the last few months, I found out that Panorama, as I've, t you've, anyone who's watched my live streams has seen me say, I know something's coming. A hatchet job of all time is coming. And I say that in the sense that prison didn't work. In fact, it had the opposite effect. In the last matter of months, my PayPal, my website, my, my, my monthly subscriptions, all of these things have come under attack. They've all been deleted. One final attempt by the establishment, which would be to destroy me in the nation's eyes. Now, I become aware that Panorama, working alongside a government-supported agency were planning what was the working title, Tommy Takedown. This documentary's working title by the people involved was called The Tommy Robinson Takedown. What you're going to witness is the most sensational expose of the BBC this country's ever seen. How do I release this? Basically, we went undercover on Panorama. And what did we find? What video evidence have we got? What video evidence could we possibly have? Could we possibly prove corruption? Could we prove the doctrine of videos? Could we prove fake news? The creation of fake news in order to destroy who I am and my name? Have we got that on video? Are you sitting there now because you know what we've got? Because you know, you are going, when I put this documentary together, do I just release this documentary? Do I just put it on YouTube? The BBC, it's a stealth tax against us. They make us pay them whilst they proper, use propaganda to destroy us, to slander us. The uh, panorama... I'd, I'd say expect in the coming days to see resignations. We are going to expose them to the world. You're all going to see just how corrupt our media is. All the things you thought, all the accusations against the BBC by Donald Trump as BBC fake news. I'm going to prove it. Do you know how worried I've been? Do you know the, the nights I've had as soon as I found out what they're doing and the lengths they're going to, to ruin me, my name? And all of it has spectacularly 360 on them. And you're all going to witness it. Now, my only question, which I'm still thinking about right now, is where do we premiere this documentary? Outside the BBC's head office on a 30-foot screen 
on Saturday the 23rd of February. In London or in Manchester? Outside BBC's offices in Manchester. That's the only decision. That's the only decision I've got to make right now. Is where I'm going to expose BBC hope not hate all of you. <laughs> there is an emergency meeting going on right now. Panorama's executives are sitting around the table panicking because I just showed them in a spectacular fashion. Wait until you see the footage. I just showed them evidence of their lead investigative journalist. All the things they say about me, we gathered in evidence against them. So, the decision I've got to make, 20,000 people watching this live, give it a share. I am going to prove with undercover surveillance, undercover footage, undercover recordings of the creation of fake news against me. I'm going to prove it. I'm going to prove the bigotry, the classism and the elitism of those working in the BBC. The view they have of you, the working class. I'm proving it. I've got it. In multiple locations, in multiple countries. There's nothing anyone can do. Now, I suspect in the coming days, I'm going to face a huge... I don't really know if they can try and defend this. If they can try and stop it. They might throw lawyers at it to try and get an injunction to prevent me airing it. It's already in other countries. It's going to be aired. Now, what I'd ask all of you is, where should we air it? Where should we bring down Panorama? Where should we expose Hope Not Hate? Where do you want to do it? Outside their offices in London or outside their offices in Manchester? I personally, my, my, my opinion is swaying. I know London's the capital. It's always biggest news in the capital. But my opinion is swaying towards Manchester simply as a thank you to all the Northerners and, and the people in Scotland who travel from far for the demonstrations to free me three or four times. The Brexit rally, London, the Day for Freedom, London. My, I, I'm swaying towards trying to bring this to the north of England on Saturday, the 23rd of February. Um, and I want you all to join me. So follow, keep following. You're going to see developments. I'm sure in the coming days, I can actually relax because I haven't relaxed for last. Everyone would have noticed how quiet I've been. I haven't been able to do anything. I've had my own problems at home. I've, I haven't been able to, I've had my own problems with everything, but I haven't been able to concentrate because I've had this going on in the background and I've been planning this and I put the final nail in the coffin this afternoon and I'll share it all with you. But I just think it's a waste to just release it. I think, why don't we have a day out where we absolutely show up and let everyone know that we have evidence of what the BBC do. <laughs> but make sure you're available Saturday the 23rd. I'm now going to start looking at uh, the costs to get a massive screen, a massive PA system. Journalists and friends from afar, from Australia, Avi, Yemeni, get your flight booked, son, to America, to Canada. Ezra, please make plans. We need the world to watch and see. And I, I'm, I'm happy. I don't, know if I'm, I don't want to seem like I'm gloating, but... I've been terrified. I've been absolutely terrified of what they're trying to do to me and um, and the effect it would have on my family and my life. And I hope today, today, when I put the final nail in the coffin, when I met with Panorama, a courier was en route to their offices to deliver legal documents to prevent them lying 
to the country, fabricating stories to the country, blackmailing people to give negative and false information on me to the country. Anyway, (laughs) I'm going to go and enjoy my favourite meal in my favourite restaurant. And to those in to those in Panorama, the worry you have right now is the worry I've had for six to eight weeks. You wankers. You absolute you you're a disgrace to journalism and you're getting exposed. That's it. Uh, <laughs> 19 and a half thousand people watching this live. Share it. Share it far. Share it wide. Start making your plans for February 23rd. I'm actually, it's half term on Monday, isn't it? I'm away with the kids. So, going to need some help organising this demo, guys. But, uh, oh, and, and, there's, and there's certain people that need a special thank you. All of that will come out. There's certain people that have been that people had negative... There's a certain individual, actually, that a lot of people had a negative opinion of. Um, I'm not going to name anyone until I'm uh, until I OK that these people can be named, but that have absolutely helped to prevent what they were planning. This was the establishment working with the BBC. They're not unbiased. They were working alongside George Soros-funded organisations and planning meticulously... Creating false news to bring me down. And, oh boy, is it backfired. Good night. Enjoy your night.